NFT? What is it? How to invest? And why many are becoming millionaires? NFTs represent one of the most recent financial and digital revolutions in the world. You've probably heard about them, but you may not be very clear about what they are. According to the statistical firm Finder, 70% of American adults do not know what an NFT is. These figures increase in countries like Japan and Germany, where 90% and 82% of their population do not know anything about these acronyms. We know that being up-to-date with the world of investments, it's important to you. And that's why we created this video to share with you 9 things you didn't know about NFTs. And of course, we will explain what NFTs are. Hello everyone and welcome to Nova Rice, your channel for financial education. Don't forget to subscribe and to hit the like button for more videos like this. To level the playing field, let's start by talking about what NFT stands for. What are NFTs? The acronym NFT stands for non-fungible token. Starting from that, it's important to understand that token is the synonym of virtual asset. In other words, we're talking about fungible and non-fungible assets. What's the difference between each of these? A fungible asset is everything that can be exchanged for another piece of the same value or for several of lesser value. An example of this is a $100 bill, which you can exchange for another $100 bill or for five $20 bills, and it'll still have the same value. On the other hand, a non-fungible asset could be the Mona Lisa painting. There may be hundreds of exact replicas you can go to the Louvre Museum in Paris and take photos, but none will be the work created by Da Vinci, nor will they have the same value of the original Mona Lisa. That's precisely what happens with NFTs. There are digital assets that cannot be exchanged for each other, and each one has a unique value. Now that you have a clear idea of what a non-fungible token is, you're probably wondering what's being bought and sold with it. Basically, each NFT is a piece of digital art. What is sold and bought is a kind of virtual certificate of authenticity of that work of art, which has an initial value. This price evolves as in any purchase and sale, and you can buy an NFT for one price and then sell it for another. NFTs have a close relationship with cryptocurrencies, and in most cases, Ethereum is used to carry out the transactions. Now that you have a better idea of the concept of NFTs, let's go over the 9 things you didn't know about this digital revolution, such as Can you create an NFT by yourself? Where to buy and sell NFTs? Do NFTs represent a bubble? Let's get started! Number 1. Anyone can create and sell an NFT The popularity of NFTs is indisputable, particularly among younger people. Clearly, this happens because they understand new technological trends much better. Morning Consult conducted a survey that showed that one in three American adults collect some kind of physical item as an investment. Among those who identified themselves as collectors, one in four is involved with NFTs. In total, the survey found that 42% of millennials currently collect NFTs. Regardless of age, anyone can create, buy or sell NFTs. And an NFT can be literally anything. This brings us to the next point. Number 2. Any digital thing can be an NFT. By this we mean that an NFT can be an image, a collage, videos, movies and even tweets. A song can also be an NFT. And in many cases, emerging musicians sell their pieces as NFTs when they don't have record deals. Elon Musk is one of the most well-known cases in the music industry in NFTs. That's right, Elon is not only a billionaire tycoon, but he's also a great lover of house music. In March 2021, Elon released a song about NFTs as an NFT. The highest offer he received was over a million dollars but he ultimately decided not to sell it. Memes are another form of NFT that are enjoying great popularity. 
memes have sold for thousands of dollars, such as the disaster girl, overly attached girlfriend, the grumpy cat, and the dodge meme that sold for $4 million. With all this, we want to tell you that an NFT can be literally anything. A photo of you, an animation you make, a drawing of your child, a photo of an egg, a gift of your property, a song, or whatever you can think of that can be digitized. Number 3. Where to buy and sell NFTs To sell or buy NFTs, you will need to be part of a marketplace. Each platform can be governed by a different cryptocurrency to carry out transactions. As we already mentioned, one of the most popular is Ethereum. According to the Coindesk portal, some of the most popular digital markets to sell NFTs with Ethereum are OpenSea, Rotable, and Mintable. On these platforms, you simply sign up, look for the Create option to load your NFT, assign a price to it, and just like that, it'll be technically for sale. Of course, doing this does not guarantee that someone will pay for your asking price or that your NFT will even be sold but at least it will be part of a marketplace and will be available for sale. For those who want to buy NFT, Coindesk also made a list of the most reliable platforms to buy, which are OpenSea, Rarible, SuperRare, Nifty Gateway, Foundation. Number 4. Each NFT is unique. The essence of NFTs is that they are non-fungible tokens, so each one has a specific value has unique characteristics and cannot be replicated. When an NFT is created and uploaded to a sales platform, they have codes and characteristics that make them unique. In addition to that, it's possible to see the history of prices, offers and purchases and sales of an NFT in order to know its origin and how it has evolved in the market. Number 5. The most expensive NFT has been sold for $91.8 million. The merch is the most expensive NFT in history, and it was sold on December 6, 2021. Although there's some controversy as to whether the merch is a single NFT or a collection of various pieces of art, the truth is that it was sold to thousands of buyers who had to pull their money in order to pay the value of the NFT. Nearly 30,000 buyers snapped up the merch for a total of $91.8 billion. Before that, the highest price ever achieved for an NFT was that of Mike Winkleman's Every Days, the first 5,000 days. Known in the art world as Beeple, his work made up of 5,000 images that made up an NFT sold for $69.3 billion. Number 6. The first tweet in history was sold as an NFT. As we shared earlier, anything can become an NFT, including tweets. Valuables is a platform where you can buy and sell tweets like NFTs, and right there, the first tweet in history was sold for a price of $2.9 million. That's an unexpected price for sure. The transaction is 100% real and received dozens of offers until the final price was finally paid by a user named at Sinestavi, who by the way also offered the largest sum of money for Elon Musk's song. In case you were wondering what the tweet is, it says, just setting up my Twitter, and it was made at 2.50 p.m. in 2006 by Twitter's co-founder Jack Darcy. That's right, Jack himself sold his first tweet for that sum of money. And that's the main point of selling tweets, that their owners or writers are the ones who sell them. Number 7. A 12-year-old girl sold her drawing collection for $1.6 million. This is probably one of the most popular success stories in the history of NFTs. A 12-year-old girl, a lover of drawing, began working on a collection of digital images when she was 9 years old. This collection is called Long Necky Ladies, and it consists of 3,333 drawings of women with elongated necks, representing beauty and authority. To create them, Nyla Hayes started with her phone, but then her parents bought her an iPad and an Apple Pencil, 
to make her lines more precise. All the drawings were saved in JPEG image format, which were then transformed into NFTs with the OpenSea platform, and were eventually sold for a profit of $1.6 million. Number 8. NFTs consume large amounts of energy. According to a study conducted by CBS, the transaction for an NFT generates on average the same carbon footprint created by more than a month of electricity used by a citizen of the European Union. The amount of energy required to create, distribute and transfer an average NFT is believed to be around 120 kilowatts hour of energy, producing over 48 kilograms of CO2. With so many NFT sales relying on the Ethereum cryptocurrency, it can be estimated that the energy cost produced by the technological equipment required to perform such a transaction exceeds $6 billion per year, according to Greenpeace's director of international research, Gary Cook. The Ethereum Foundation is working on a proof-of-stake model to reduce energy per transaction, but they haven't come up with a solution yet. Number 9. Are NFTs a bubble? According to data on NFTs collected by blockchain analytics firm Chainalysis, the NFT market surpassed $40 billion in 2021, approaching conventional art sales. All this led many to ask, are NFTs an economic bubble? And if so, when will it burst? Although it is difficult to answer these questions, a Bloomberg article highlighted that in the last quarter of 2021, almost 2 million NFT digital assets were sold on the OpenSea platform. However, only a quarter of them were resold. The co-founder of a famous NFT tracking platform, Gutierrez Ripenge, commented that probably 90% of the works of art that entered the NFT market do not make any sense so he does not trust this market. It is very difficult to determine what will happen to NFTs in the long term, although today many distrust these works of art as an investment method. The same thing happened initially with cryptocurrencies. At the time, and for many people, cryptos also represented a bubble that could burst at any moment. But now cryptos seem to be more current than ever and cover more and more markets. What do you think about NFTs? Do you think they are a good investment? Are you already thinking about creating your own NFT collection to become a millionaire? Let us know your opinion in the comments. And since you're here, do not forget to check this episode that's gonna help you complement everything you just learned today. Take care, bye bye.